John Evelyn was born in Watton, Surrey, England on October 31st, 1620. This is a picture of what the town would have looked like around the 17th century. And here is a church that still stands which was built in that time period. This is the house that John was born in. He was raised by his grandmother and grew to love and cherish the family estate. As a writer, John was primarily known as a diarist. This is a self-portrait of him holding one of his diaries. He was also into horticulture and he loved to spend time in his garden. At the age of 17, he began attending classes at Oxford University, though he never graduated. After leaving Oxford, he embarked on his most important journey, a four-year tour of France, Switzerland, and Italy. During the time of his travels was the English Civil War. Evelyn did not join the king's royal forces for fear of losing the family estate. During this time, Evelyn studied three major themes. The first was language, most commonly portrayed by theater. Second, architecture. Even today, both Italy and France are known for their great architecture. Last, art. Hundreds of artists from the 17th century fled to the streets of Italy and France for inspiration. Sometime after his tour, Evelyn wrote from a Fugium. This was a pamphlet addressing the inconvenience and the remedies for the smog in London. Published in 1661, this is one of the earliest known works on air pollution. Next to his diaries, Silva was one of his most important works. The glass factories and iron furnaces of the country were rapidly depleting the resources of timber. There was no attempt on repairing the damage by replanting. Silva became Evelyn's plea for reforestization. Another popular work of Evelyn was Sculptura. This is one of the earliest known records of mezzotent engraving, a method used on engraving copper, such as coins. His best known work is the Diary of John Evelyn, and it overshadows all his other writings. This book, containing four volumes in all, remained unpublished until after his death in 1818. It was not completely finished or released until 1955. This was not a story on John's life, rather a record of historical events from 1641 to 1697. This curious old world garden was laid out on a medieval site in the 17th century by Philip Packer, with advice from his friend, the famous diarist and horticulturalist, John Evelyn. As you can see here, Evelyn was more than a storyteller. One topic Evelyn often wrote on was gardening. This was a tree planted by Evelyn on his family estate. These were some sketchings by John Evelyn, which were plans for a garden. You could refer to him as a horticulture extremist, developing plans not only for his own garden, but for many others. Other topics Evelyn often wrote about were pollution and historical events. Shown here in these pictures is the Great Fire of London that took place in 1666, which destroyed 80% of the city's property. 
After the fire, Evelyn drew up this plan here to propose the rebuilding of London. With all of his concerns about pollution and restoration, it was no surprise that Evelyn was one of the founding members of the Royal Society. He was also chosen as one of the commissioners of the Privy Seal. Evelyn received an invitation by King Williams to serve as treasurer of Greenwich Hospital, which he accepted in 1694. He returned to Watton, Surrey, England in 1699 when he inherited the family estate. This was the house of John Evelyn as it stands today. John Evelyn spent his last days here, writing, enjoying his garden, and constantly thinking of ways to improve life.